Hello and welcome back to Anton Math. Now we just talked about the symmetric difference in the last video and in this video I want to introduce a brand new operation which we call the Cartesian product and sometimes we call it the cross product. Now I need to point out that this cross product is not the same as the cross product that we use in calculus when we're dealing vectors. Uh, this is a cross product defined between two sets. So this is going to be a kind of a new concept if you haven't seen this before. So let's go ahead and let S and T be sets. Okay. We can define the cross product, S cross T. This is going to be equal to all of the ordered pairs, little s, little t, such that little s is in the set s, and little t is in the set t. And we use this kind of notational correspondence a lot. Um, if I have a big set that I've have capital S and I use a little s, that means I'm talking about some element in the big set S, right? We kind of stay organized in that way. So let's go ahead and give an example of what this means. Uh, let's say I have some set S um, is equal to 1, 2, and some set T is equal to, say, 1, 2, 3. Then my, key, my Cartesian product S cross T this is going to be a bunch of ordered pairs. So I'm going to have uh, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 3. Right? It's all of the possible ordered pairs that I can make where the first element of the ordered pair is from my set S and the second element of my ordered pair is from the set T. Now notice that S is a set of numbers here, T is a set of numbers, but S cross T is a set of um, ordered pairs. So we don't have any relationship like um, subsets. We don't have anything like S is a subset of S cross T, nothing like this. This doesn't really make sense because the elements in S are just integers where the elements in S cross T are ordered pairs, right? So it doesn't really work that way. Now we can generalize this concept. Um, sometimes we talk about uh, cross products of more than two sets. Let's say I have three sets, R, S, and T. Then R cross S cross T is going to be the set of ordered triples. Little r, little s, little t, where each little element is an element of the respective set. And we can go as high as we want. Um, this is the set of ordered triples. If I have four sets, um, I'd have ordered four tuples. And you know we can go to any, um, any number of sets, n, and we'll have a set of ordered n tuples composed from those sets in this way. Now, there are several properties of the cross product, but mostly we don't have associative and commutative properties um, like we have before, but we do have a distributive property. And this was just an introductory video, but in the next video I'm going to talk about all of the properties of this cross product. We'll see you there.